Cooper crew. So today I'm going to be working with my 10 year old lying back done green broke pony. He's been road but not that much and he's also my rodeo prospect so let's get right into it. Let's get started. So he can spell us like good and bad moments. I know it's not a good moment but earlier he was on a bad moment. So let's start walking him around. I've got his warm up ready, so now it's start some real riding. Now I'm going to be riding behind the saddle. This just determines what kind of horse you have. Some horses will let you ride out here, and some horses won't. Hopefully, he does. We ride two people at a time, it looks like. Now I'm just going to be standing with my knees or hips. And now we're going to go do our barrel segment. This might be a little hard because he is kind of scared of barrels. But we're just going to get him used to the barrel as much as possible. And we're just going to be walking him around it today just to get him used to it. Maybe in a future video he might be riding the barrels. So, I'll see you in 3, 2, 1. Not to try to report him saying because he's gone through some episodes like real fast. Okay, he seems like he passed the test. And now I'm just going to be riding side saddle. So I'm just going to put my reins around my horn. This way I've already took out the shirt. I'm just going to swing this over. Now, I'm going to ride him around. Now I'm just going to be backing him up, so, press up, and jump on. So I'm going to get him straight, not all back straight, because like I said before, he's a green broke horse, so you can't expect too much out of a green broke horse. So let's back up. Back, 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 back. Good boy. Turn. Back. Back. Good. Okay. So. That's me backing. Are you 
cannot be scared of the horse because the horse knows if you are scared of it or not. And if a horse starts walking or getting on it, just continue getting on it. Most horses do walk. He's not being too bad about that today, but he still is being kind of pretty. So, now I'm just going to do my signature. So I'm going to take out my stirrups. I'm going to, so you're just going to push your hands on the saddle and push yourself back behind the saddle. Now you're going to be behind the saddle. No hands. So I'm going to, I can walk him like this also. So I'm just going to. So I'm going to you don't have to walk the horse like this. I'm just gonna do my trick. Slide off the back. So, that was mine and Apple's neck. Dreams to know. I really hope y'all enjoy this. And so, bye. Okay, so, I'm unpacking the collar here. Okay. Let's stir up. And I'm, here we go. Pull out, take two fingers. This one, I'm loosening it up. That one's kind of tight. Saddle. Set it right there for now. As you tell, he's kind of sweaty and dirty. First, I'm going to take out his bit though, because He's anxious to get the bit to go up. Now a few of my favorite grooming products. Is four of my favorite grooming products. First, I have one of these metal curries. It's a hand glove. You can get these on Amazon. This you can get at um, Jeffers or Chicks, I don't know. Here's the wall main and telecom. And here's just a body brush. So one of the big bristle body brushes. First thing I'm gonna do is use my metal curry on him though. Get some of like the sweat and hair and dirt knocked out. Try to get all of the dirt knocked out. To get all the dirt out, of course, the horse has to have a bath. So, maybe in one of my next vlogs, I will be bathing your horse. And you guys are going to let me know in the comment section down below if you want to know how to take care of a horse. Um, we got vlog I'm thinking about doing. So, just let me know in the comment section down below. That's why I'm interested. Because, I mean, I don't want to bore you to this, of course. But, of course, it's all a lot of work and they're not for everyone so I just want to go ahead and put that out there and also in the summer there might be a barn reno so that will be super exciting I'm just fixing a tack room maybe there 
there might also be a chicken coop uh, makeover. No promises though. Just let me know if you guys would like to see those. Again, I'm not going to bore you to death. But. It's like he has a lot of dust on him right now. Me way around the dirt pan. So he's a trick riding, barrel, and roping prospect. So hopefully he can be one of those. I really want him to be like kind of all just like a ranch horse I can rope and stuff. Then like of course for rodeos, trick riding, and barrel racing. So I might be getting a trick riding title soon. I will definitely put a review of that. I mean riding him with trick riding title. It's gonna be a whole different environment. I never had one. I can also do riding him English because I also have an English saddle because English helps you walk through Western riding. So I got that done. And I'm just going to go over him with the body brush to get some of the dust knocked out. So I can do really fast with the body brush. And I'm pretty much already done with the body brush. I mean, he wasn't too bad. Today I'm not going to be using my hand glove because I use the body brush and it's pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to be using my main comb a little bit now. I'm pretty sure all my other grooming tools and everything is in my own um, horse trailer. You know, I use right now what I had in my tack room, so. Let's continue. Be sure to let me know if you want a review of everything that I have for horses. Just anything that you want to see. Just let me know in the comment section down below. So I'll see you next time. Now, let's go put him up. Get him all untied.